Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. I am joined this evening by Aminette, one of our royals at the ranch. Welcome to Training Tuesday for November 7th, 2021. I was recently asked if I work with any boas, and I sure do. We have four rainbow boas here and one Central American boa, and I have featured them in a few videos, but obviously I work with many more pythons and colubras than I do boas. But for all of you BOA fans out there, the next few Training Tuesdays, if I can work it out, we're going to have a special feature, Pythons versus BOAs. And in tonight's episode, you're going to get to see a four-year-old Morelia Bredley female named Sunspear and a four-year-old Epicrates Maris female, Sola, face off as they do similar tasks. And we're just going to see who you think does a better job. And I did time both of their tasks and I put the times in the video. So you just let me know what you think. But I do want you to keep in mind, it isn't how quickly they do the task, it's how efficiently and how confidently they do the task. So it's just pretty much how well you think they did. Now one of them took only three minutes and 25 seconds to complete the shifting task and the other one took eight minutes flat to complete the task. And I just had each of them shift out of their enclosures and onto a station that I was able to then move out of the way so I could clean their enclosures. So you take a look and let me know who you think did better and which snake you like best. And everybody's gonna have their own opinion and I already know that I have some Python fans out there and some Boa fans and you're probably already gonna pick the species that you know you like best. I also want you to keep in mind that in order to make the video that you're all watching a little bit shorter, that I cut some of the segments out and I sped them up because three minutes and 25 seconds and eight minutes don't sound like very long, but I have noticed that human beings are very impatient and they want everything instantaneously. So to stand there and watch a video on your phone or iPad or television or computer for three minutes and 25 seconds as a snake shifts out of their enclosure and onto a station, or for eight minutes as they do that, seems like forever to a human being. But I really think as far as animal training goes and snakes in particular, that both of these snakes did a very good job no matter how long it took them. That isn't the point. The point is they were able to learn this behavior and they are both able to accomplish it. We're going to start with the python only because her training session was before the boa's training session. And this is just me asking her to target out of her enclosure and onto a station so that I can move her out of the way and clean her enclosure. She was in her sky hide and partially out on her PVC perch. Once she perceived the target, I asked her to move out of her enclosure threshold and I wanted her to move through one of the holes in this basket that's on top of a station. And this station is one of the cat trees that I have on wheels. And I've got this basket on the top and I do have a rock in the middle of the basket so that the basket is solidly on the top and it's stable for some of these heavier pythons and boas. So she's gone through the first hole and I moved the target from inside the basket to the outside so that I could now encourage her to move through the second hole because I want her whole body through the basket and the reason I'm asking her to go through these holes is so that she is supported as she hangs down the other side in order to touch the target and then receive her food reinforcer. I sped this up and cut some of the footage out. Total time for her to complete the task was three minutes and 25 seconds. Now let's move on to one of our Colombian rainbow boas. I did not know where she was. Honestly, when I first put the target in there, I was just fishing for her. 
and then you'll be able to notice right here I realize where she is and she just all of a sudden poked her head out of her hide and once I knew where she was so in other words she perceived the target and then I perceived her then we could really get to work and I just was asking her to come out onto the station again so that I could clean her enclosure. It's really convenient for me to ask these snakes to voluntarily shift out of their enclosure and wait on a station that is portable that I can move out of the way of the enclosure so that then I can clean the enclosure and do whatever I need to in there while the snake is safely on the station and eating or exercising. So that's what I'm asking her to do. She's crossing over the middle of the station I raised the target a little bit to get her to raise her chin, to get her to raise her head because this station has a little bit of a lip here on the edge and I wanted to make sure that she realized she needed to lift her head over the lip. Then I moved the target down because now I want her to come down the other side of the station because she's a four-year-old boa and she's quite long and I need her whole body out so that I'm able to move that station and then have her out of the way so I can clean the enclosure. The total time for her to complete this task was quite a bit longer than the python. The boa took eight minutes flat from the time that we started to the time that I was able to pick up the station and move her. Obviously I cut some out and I sped the footage up. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this style of video, let me know in the comments. I do have four more boas that I filmed. Well, I filmed segments of three of the boas tonight and the other one is due to be fed so I can film his training session as well. So we could actually do up to four more episodes like this. I have lots of pythons, so there's no shortage of pythons for me to put up against these boas. So let me know if you wanna see that in the future. And until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals. Mm -hmm.